Now too, like Miracle's having the time of his life. Yeah. And Notel rotates into mid. Yeah, they're, they're trying to force Nubi to move to them. Chuang gonna get Dream Cold up. Kaka turns on the Sunray Miracle. He's burning pretty heavily, and Notel can't really afford to die uh, here either. Well. He's going underneath Kaka. Disruption Jamal is there, and you can say goodbye to Notel. Fast Blood going the way of Nubi. Miracle will be able to escape as he went a long way around to get to that top rune area. Yeah, that was pretty greedy by OG there. They, they thought that they could get that kill, but Puck had already used most of his other speed. The Observer one sees him perfectly. The smoke maneuver is coming from Chuan and Kaka. They couldn't make up their mind exactly how they wanted to approach this one. And now Chuan gets the vision. He wants Moon more than anyone else. He's the bigger hero. Locks him inside the wall and the storm. Combining that with the Sunray, Moon will drop and Fly just starts his TP out. There's no more yeah. follow through, but it's a good maneuver from Ruby. Yeah, he was considering swapping him out there, but ultimately not worth it because uh, he was guaranteed dead. Yep, he's going to burn Ravage for this, but no, the creeps, they block him oh. in, he just manages to get the anchor smash off. No tower will move over, but this is a 9-1 charge Tidehunter, you're not killing him. That's a huge kill for him, especially because he didn't have as many last hits as the Puck, now he's got a, he gets a free catch-up basically from killing an enemy hero. It was only a level 5, so it didn't cost now, much, but... They go on mid, Chuan's going to send him away, the Sunray tries to keep him alive, that Dark Cross Summoner, it does do enough with the help of Drow. <laughs> They're all over him. Dude, she's hitting really hard right now with the Vendor on top of this. 20% bonus damage with her ultimate. Heals is mostly about damage, so it's kind of cool to see the difference. Miracle jumps up. He wants to keep Chuan out of this, and he's going to be able to... Actually, as he hits the orb attack, Chuan takes so much damage! Oh, great bottle. They're going to be able to pick up the Aegis, so Dro Ranger now actually has some extra life. Yep, KP absolutely kept the, the Disruptor alive there. Miracle, a little out of position. Uh, he's going to jump straight back in. You know what he's here for. He came over for Chuan. The storm is down. Miracle's going to get caught inside that crit. Keeps the tether up and with a swap out from flank. Oh, they do it. To a better position. Oh, gee. They are styling on Nubi. And already the Shadow Dance has to be burned from hell. He's getting body blocked up by Fly. He'll pounce down inside the pit. They know he's down there. They can't reveal him yet. The gust will happen, but Hal's on the run. He will do the old use his legs and walk away right. over the, after the cliff jump. You're still very happy with this as OG. You got a whole yeah. bunch of kills and now you also take out the ancient stack of Nubi and you can just transition. Depends on how these next couple fights work. Uh, how just broke his smoke? I don't think he's ready for Chuan to hit him like that. That's fine. He, he's gonna bait anyways. Oh, that observer. They see everything move. The fresh blink dagger into the Nova and a perfect storm. Miracle no tell a caught. He the relocate him. out. He got him in time. Miracle got sent all the way back home. No tell will still trigger. They can that was the agency just... mortal. But you burn your raw already. Fly comes in. He's got swap available. No tell instant cast over onto Kaka as well as how. And how? Well, there is no Shadow Dance. Moon wants to get back and reach the T1 tower, but now Miracle Dream Call. They have to stand. They have to fight, Nubi, but Chuan is down. The wall is up as well from KP, trying to zone OG out of this engagement. And KP, the gust is going to hit him. The balls are on his tail, but KP will have to surge himself away. He can't actually save Moon, not when the cold arrows are continuously hitting, and they actually bring down the Tidehunter. How they got him. Fight, but he's gone as well. Nubi losing everything. Oh my Trying god. Trying kill for Nurtel. Nubi, they tried to get out, they thought maybe it was a good idea to stay, and it definitely was not. That was such a clutch fight. Crit absolutely saved everything. He pulls out Puck, keeps Puck alive, where Puck was almost guaranteed dead. Definitely gonna die. He'd love to do with Droz. It lets you go high ground against tier 3 Big, towers oh without God. actually going high ground. The damage is ridiculous, and they're going to keep it up. They Here have comes to. the Phoenix, but Kaka is really gushed. Moon wants to jump in too. They've at least locked him inside inside the pen, but the roll's on KP. KP's going down. OG, they're inside the base. No chance doing more work, you'll end up dying, Crit can't keep him alive, so they've lost her, they've lost their buff up, Fly, the Dream Call will trigger, How, however, stunned up, he's gonna go down, drove by his back, up. he's almost asking for more and more, but they actually with relocate, so they wanna bring him in, he's relocating forward, going for Torn, no to who possible, they're gonna hold him, they go for the rack, they're gonna finish this, Moon inside the Sunray, oh, jump for Miracle, Marco. he cancelled it off, Torn's here, but then over, he'll trigger just in the nick of time, Torn, he can't survive, the top rack, it's gone. We're 16 minutes in. Oh Nubi are forced God. to use multiple buybacks to defend inside their base and still OG get out. They killed Phoenix? Dude, the creeps killed Phoenix? Then? Yeah. That the it was the Necros who were in there too. Oh, and he used Sunray as well, so he's lowering his own HP. Yeah. What just happened? Oh, like the game was topsy turvy, but all of a sudden when that Necro respawned, they had the DPS to blow up the tide, and now they're just going all in on super early efficiency items. Fly's been able to pick up a drum. Only one drum. This is the way to do it, teams. <laughs> one and try and wrap around the back. That's their aggressive scan. Looking to see if Nubia is still posturing it. there. They found him. They know where they are. 
They know how to take the fight. Do they still want to fight it though? They, they do definitely. Oh, Chord. He loved this ward. He put it down again. It doesn't break the smoke just yet, however. They're still too close. Chuan gets jumped on. There it is again. Moon, the primary target that disrupts. There's no storm again for this fight. Miracle. He'll also go in with a BKB. He's protecting and Kaka has no, one, no idea what to do. Moon also. He'll trigger off the Ravage. But the Nova will be dropped at the same time. That Nova will not complete. Miracle is a double kill. And Moon will drop as well. This game looks like it's practically over. Yeah, they can just go mid right now. There's no buybacks on Newbie. They could take Rogue. But why do that when you can get a second Rax at 24 minutes? This Drow strat is completely paying off. They all have BKBs, they have auras. They picked off one of the crucial teamfight elements right at the start, which yep. is the silence. And without Static Storm, Ravage is not enough damage. It's really just set up for the Disruptor. Does, does OG actually go for the GG now? The tier 2 tower is still up on the bottom no way. lane, so they can't force the Megas, but Ravage is down. Uh, they don't have that big ability. They, the Ravage is down, they got the Rax, take Aegis for free. Absolute free. Roche, and that's Aegis. You wait till your ultimates are back up, and then Echo 3, and you just go straight bottom. I don't even know. Uh, they could still lose. Okay, we've yep. seen a lot of crazy it's possible. teams dying going to high ground today. Get a pipe on OG, then they're absolutely set. No way they lose at that point. Uh, look at the extra damage. Uh, everyone has a bonus 64 damage if you're a range hero. Because Zorotel also just picked up an Eagle Song. He'll hold the Aegis to the Immortal. They keep their auras alive, and they will line up for bottom lane. And One last push for OG to go into the winner's bracket final. And something pretty unexpected. It's even better to take out Phoenix. Phoenix would be really good also, definitely. Tide Ravage in one second. All right, they're ready to fight. Will Newby go in? Uh, no they're tell. hitting the building. Yep. Make the most out of that Dragon Lance. Well, they do have some heals. Uh, Crit's got two urns and two bottles and a wand, so trading his health a little bit here is completely worth it. Meanwhile, the top lane, the mid lane, continue to pressure in. Another BKB is up for Fly. <laughs> A 309 support VS, who's currently dishing out about 250 damage. God, that's so ridiculous. And they're trying to keep the Phoenix slow. Miracle keeps poking at him. And that's because it gives him a better shot of just bursting him down in the later fight. Uh, this chip to victory. No uh, Tail will outrun the Sunray. So that's a problem with No Tail in the drought here. He's winning, so he has too much HP. So Sunray does more damage. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to see that as a bad point for a drow. But she just keeps chipping away at this building as well. All right, this is basically their last chance. If this tower goes down, they have, they have to jump. It. They have to jump. House, house ready. He jumps. He finds No Tail. Remember, there's your BKB. Aegis Immortal is still available for No Tail, but How at least gets the BKB reaction out. Yeah, really nicely done by How there. And now OG is going to be a little unsure if they oh, want to Moon. proceed. Okay. Newbie's not unsure. Noob, well, like Moon just blinks up on top of the hill, but OG's already backed out. Well, OG can just wait 60 seconds or so. They did lose a 9 second BKB, but 8, just about as good. You still have to keep your eyes on the tier 4 towers. He's up on Venge. They've got BKBs on three heroes. Only people with no BKB is Crit on the IO and Beastmaster play Moon jumps in, goes on no tile once more, but Aegis Immortal is still there. Moon gets reeled back, but Hal jumps forward. Fly will put himself in attack. Still got his own BKB as well as four staff available, so he wants to force off and not burn his BKB charge. Very patient. I would have popped my BKB like 25 <laughs> seconds earlier than that. I was scared the hell out of me. So they still haven't used their BKBs. Nobody died here. Crit's going to be pretty low on regen because of this. Which league? Because Newbie doesn't even have a chance to get a BKB. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Your 25k worth the net worth behind. No tell. There's the jump. Crit stays on him. Remember that Aegis still on him for a long, long time. Uh, and now, nice can they find it? No tell will trigger the BKB. They lose the IO. And No tell's still hiding in the tree lines, but so is Miracle. He's waiting for his chance to jump. He'll get a three man call up. How might be initiating on the back lines? And die. now, well, how Maybe. he is low. He tries to run himself away. The gust from No Tail. He keeps the damage flying out. The very to bring down three. The ravage from Moon doesn't create enough space. Only Moon to die. And Miracle. Oh, there it is. GG. Well played. We don't even hit half an hour on this game. OG will take the series 2-1 over what looked to be the invincible Chinese team. They had to hurry the schedule along, man. Epicenter's got a reputation uphold. We move the schedule. The crowd is actually completely packed all of a sudden. This, this, this crowd is all about OG, man. They are, they have been so biased throughout the entire tournament. <laughs> um, I say entire tournament being just this one series. But wow, what a great thing for OG. They come in, they get a 2-1 victory. They've been looking for a major land victory.